So this is our little brain tool, and this is going to recognize different types of vehicles and materials and people on the site by type. So like this is a telehandler back here. This is an excavator. We've got to count on these. So I'm going to pop back out of here, and I'm going to take you to gate report. And let's say for the purpose of keeping it simple, uh, we've got a lot of vehicles here today. So if we want to know by type, I can click on concrete truck, for example. And this will tell me exactly how many concrete trucks came on, and I'm on, looks like uh, April 11th. So we've got one coming in, one going out, and any kind of truck that's going to be a common construction truck. The only thing we've got on this project are the gate report and ANPR, or automatic number plate recognition cameras. So it'll be able to track and see and show you a video of every vehicle that comes in and out. It will show you the duration of time. So what people often use is like, if a concrete truck shows up and it was on site for three and a half hours, so you know, did we use that concrete? Was it still good? So um, it's really for invoicing and for that purpose. So, you know, if the concrete company says, hey, I came 25 times today and here's your invoice, you can go back to this and say, you came 22 times and here's a video of every single one of these and a printed report. So we're just running a, a machine learning tool on the different types of vehicles and activity that's going on in the site. And we're getting better at it every day as we use these projects to teach things. And one of the funny things is like, Machine learning is very cool, but you also have to unteach it if it's wrong. So we had an, an instance in uh, Reno, Nevada, where a, a, a casino sign looked enough like a mini excavator that other signs started being labeled as mini excavators. We had to go back to the original one and find out, you know, where it was and what it was, and then tell the machine this is not a mini excavator. And so we stopped having that problem. But unfortunately, on this platform, uh, a lot of these companies are NDA, so I don't have access to show you any more gate reports. This is the only one that we're allowed to show. You know, it'll look something like, so here, here's uh, the compare tool. So this is the first day of this project. This is actually the Capitol building in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is the actual Capitol building right here. And I've got a camera up here. And this is the view from that dome, and then I've got another camera back over here. Yeah, especially if, um, you know, if you're facing dead west, uh, you'll get a lot of winds. So if it's, if it's snowy, that snow will just stick right to the lens. And the lens has a heater on it, but it's tough to keep up with when it's, you know, 20 below in Colorado. So uh, do you guys have a, uh, an x-ray tool? So like, uh, for example, we've got all this piping underground here, and if I go to the next day at the same time, it's all pretty much buried. But I can click on the x-ray tool and go back to that time, and I can look back underground. Yeah. And the fix right now for that is if I click on this date and time, You'll see up here it is at 2021 10 19 8 a.m. in the URL. So we would just bookmark this and name it. You know, it's no additional cost. Uh, you will have access to this for at least three years after the project is complete. So everything that's on this dash you'll have access to for three more years. And you'll also have a copy of the hard drive. We're going to see a car crash through a porta potty. This is one frame at a time. And then the car trying to get out. And, and I mean, they try to back out of this. There's a fire hydrant here. And they don't realize it. And they hit it. And then they hit it again. And they hit it again. And they hit it again. They finally get out. And then they speed away. But because of this, the contractor didn't have to pay for these damages. The insurance company was able to cover them. And, you know, as long as they weren't at fault, it wasn't a huge deal. But uh, insurance companies are actually starting to pay for the cameras on these projects. We've got a calculator for that. So, like, right here, 
this is how we build these things out. So this is a project in Philadelphia. And where this red line ends, where the infrared ends. So what they ended up having to do was put uh, four cameras. They've got four corners here. And they went with a higher resolution. I can show you that camera, actually. It's, it's really beautiful. This building is uh, about 1,500 feet away. And you can get pretty well in there. It's going to be a little blurry on your end just because it's coming through a USB-C cable, through the internet, through a free Google chat. <laughs> we are able to keep this permanent. So see why I'm blurring this out? You can't see what the building is? We can make that a, a permanent fix on the camera for you so that if there is a sensitive area, that's just straight blurred before it even hits the NVR. And then I can archive this. I just click save here. It'll end up going up in here in these archives. And then every video or anything that they put up here is going to be in this spot. But this camera just went live last week, so they haven't done much with it. Uh, it's, it's a private in investment group in Ireland.